Hi everyone, VMuse here, and today we're taking a closer look at the D&D Icons of the Realm Sapphire Dragon. Now, if you caught us on the D&D Live 2020 event, we did reveal this beauty. However, I thought it'd be fun to give you a closer look here on the YouTube channel. So, this is the box itself. This is a very big box because this is a very large mini. So this is the this is the top of the box. It's kind of a different presentation than some of our other ones. So this is the top of the box. And here is the front of the box. Now, let me just give you a sense of scale because I'm going to hold this up so you can see how big this is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is give you a closer look at the box itself because quite frankly, this is one of those things where the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And I want you to have a chance to see all the details that went into it with the cover art as well as the information that's provided. So scooping up over here, as you can see, this is a sizable box and you have hints of the dragon showing through around the window. The dragon itself sits inside. And like I said, this is actually the front of it. I actually have to put this on my shoulder to keep this stable. This is, this is the size of this loveliness. So you have it where it is sitting in the box itself and you have this gorgeous artwork, which right now is a little bit harder to see, but I can take it out and show you to you in just a minute. And then if you turn it to the side, you get some gorgeous artwork of the dragon itself. And here is the other side, same thing. And then the back has all of that lovely lore and detail about the sapphire dragon itself. So what I'm gonna do is set this down <laughs> And let me read this to you while you kind of get to look at the front. This is a longer blurb, so I am going to read just that first paragraph for you. If you want more information, do be sure to get onto our shop.wizkids.com. You can check out the pre-order and you'll get the full description there as well. So this is what you get to start off with. And I tell you, it's, it's, it's intriguingly wonderful. The glittering sapphire dragons are the most territorial of all the gem dragons to a dangerous degree. They collect magical weapons and armor as the centerpieces of their hordes and vault them away in isolated caverns. And then the rest of the description goes into what they do and everything like that. It's really, truly a wonderful piece. So if you even want to keep this in the box and display it, it's certainly something you could opt to do instead. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is a large miniature and you do get that measurement here. It is 160 millimeters tall. I'm gonna show you its wingspan out of the box. So enough talking about the box itself. I think it's time to take it out of the box so we can take a look at this stunning creature inside. Hang tight. As promised, this is the artwork that is on the inside of the box that I wanted you to see. It's basically a panel creating the Sapphire Dragon's Lair. As you can see, you have the Dragon's Horde over here, as well as some more natural details of the cavern itself off to the other side. But it really is some beautiful stuff artwork wise. I mean, you could even, if you're taking this out of the box and you're not gonna keep the box, I, I'd be one of those people who'd actually save this and keep it for different purposes, whether it's just backgrounds for miniatures or what have you, but it really is beautifully done. And it's something that you can see once you get it out of the packaging. I'm just trying to tilt, tilt it so you don't get as much of the glare. There we go. So you can see it really is some gorgeous stuff. That being said, what do you say we take a look at the dragon itself, okay? So first we're gonna take a look at the top-down view of this dragon so you can see its wingspan from the top and also just this lovely S curvature that's going on with the mini itself. I truly do adore this pose that is going on for this particular one. Now keep in mind, uh, in actuality, this is considered a huge creature. The mini is huge. I'm, I'm not kidding, this is huge. Right now, before I lift it up to show you just how huge this is, I wanted you to see the translucency of the wings itself, which you can see right now as I play my hands behind it. This is one of those pieces, because of this translucent plastic, when you put it up in different bits of lighting, it is going to change and shift colors of blue. Uh, again, it's going to go from this deep, rich sapphire blue into sky blues and glacier blues as well. And it's just so darn pretty. I'm sorry, if, uh, but it is, it's gorgeous. It really is beautiful to see it playing in different lights and seeing how the translucency 
comes into play. Now what I'm gonna do is, we are going to shift things around a little bit, so get ready for a little ride. I'm gonna change the scene here, and hi, how are you? What I'm gonna do is lift this up so you can actually see it, because like I said, this is, this is huge. So here we go, here I am lifting it up off the table, and um, hi, its wingspan is broader than my shoulders. I'm not kidding. I am holding this up right against me. Let's get it so like, okay, so there you see. It goes beyond my own with the, my shoulders here. So yeah, it's definitely, it's a beautiful dynamic piece with the outstretched wings. It really is. And right now what I'm doing is I just wanna play around with the lights a little bit with the studio lighting. So you can see how you get the different texture bits on the wings and you get the reflective properties of the plastic so it plays like gemstones, like a sapphire gem really. But, hold on, before I poke my eye out, let me shift. But you can see it really does have a presence to it. There are a couple other points I want to show you though that are really a fantastic touches to this miniature itself. So if you look at the base, it is a clear, plastic base. This is done intentionally. This is not a mistake or it's, you know, not one of those things where it's like, but why? The reason for this is so that you can actually see, as you can see my hand underneath, you can see your terrain coming through when you go to put this on the table, which is a fantastic thing because otherwise this would just be a large black circle on your display or on your table and it would eat up the looks of your terrain. So I think this is a really cool feature that goes into the design work of this Sapphire Dragon. The other thing that I think is super is this rock upon which it's crouched. It really has some fantastic texture and detail in it as well. So it just gives you the sense of you have come across it in its cavern and you are about to raid its horde and it is not happy. I mean, really, it's just so much fun. I, I could honestly sit here all day and just kind of keep spinning it around so you could see. The other great thing is that you get these cool little details like you get these sparkling effects again to nod to the fact that it is a sapphire dragon the whole gemstone factor and i really just think this pose is absolutely wonderful it's super dynamic you have the tail wrapping around the stone the way it curves its neck is wonderful so you can pose this around so it has a cool look to it but that, <laughs> I'm trying my best here to make sure I'm getting all in frame too. It, it does give you a sense just how huge this piece is. And then don't forget, what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is make sure we have stills of this loveliness for you to take a closer look at it. But for now, as you can see, and look at the way, like see, you can get the blue. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is the D&D &D Icons of the Realm Sapphire Dragon to celebrate 45 years of D&D. It is truly a magnificent piece. Whether you wanna keep it in its box, whether you wanna put it out in full display, that is completely up to you. All options are fantastic if you ask me because of the gorgeous artwork that is on the box itself and because of the dynamic features that go into this miniature in and of itself. Do be sure to check out the description below. I'm gonna make sure you have all those relevant links so you can check things out and get your pre-order in today. Make sure you do that. Again, releasing August 2020. And don't forget while you're here, very easy to do, subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when more videos that are taking a closer look at our products come out for you to enjoy. That being said, I am V Muse. Thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for some cool pictures. Until then, take care everyone, bye.